Right now, 530, caught and cuffed. Two suspects accused of stealing more than a dozen forklifts from a business are now behind bars. And that business now cleaning up the mess left behind as those suspects appear before a judge today. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is joining us live. She's at that scene in Northwest Miami-Dade with all the details. Janine? And Christy, the owners here of this forklift company say that the crime involves fence climbing and hot wiring, and the investigation continues. A wild crime over the weekend. Men scaling this metal fence, cutting the lock, then stealing forklifts, 15 of them, from this business parking lot in northwest Miami-Dade. You were arrested for grand theft, a first degree felony. Investigators say Good afternoon, sir. these are two of their suspects, Elijah Torrialba and Eddie Jean Baptiste. According to the arrest report, it was Sunday when a worker noticed the gates were open. Surveillance video soon revealing a group of at least five driving in and driving out on the heavy machinery. So this is one of the recovered forklifts. You can see right here the mirrors. They've been busted off and this lower console. It's been pried down. A manager says that's how the crooks were able to hotwire the forklifts and start them up. Others had keys in them. Now, workers are replacing the busted lock. Ten of the 15 forklifts have been recovered. They were ditched on a street nearby. We're told the plan was likely to sell them. Sir, you, you it wouldn't qualify. From the forklift parts and equipment at 7695 Northwest 63rd Street in Miami, Florida. You're not allowed to go to that location. You must stay away from there. Do you understand, sir? Yes, ma'am. Those two suspects face charges, including grand theft and burglary. Where those other forklifts are, that's under investigation. For Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.